point now we'll uh, see uh, today uh, another topic that is the last topic of the chapter redundant storage architecture so the name itself moreover we are going to using uh, the replications replications in the sense just we are going to making some replica copy of that one so redundant of also the storage we are going to making a multiple copies redundant to maintain multiple copies of that now how we can be do that redundant storage architecture is we are having different components let me see one after the other how we can make a storage as redundant before going to start the rsa that is redundant storage architecture let me have see the actual problem where it comes why we require rsa cloud storage devices are occasionally subject to failure and we have some disruptions or the caused by the different reasons or the why it is going to be have the different failures maybe because of network connectivity issues that is the first maybe because of the controller or maybe because of hardware failures or maybe because of security breaches any one of the following any different different reason, reasons we have network uh, the connectivity issues or maybe the control issues or maybe the hardware failure issues or maybe it be security uh, breaches breaches issue, issues of that so making of this device reliable can have a ripple effect ripple effect in a sense the whatever the cause whatever the failure has done impact on the failure across all the services it will be make sure if any failure are done if the storage device uh, reliability can have a ripple effect and cause impact of failure it will be shows on the services it will shows it will shows on the services the impact has shown on the applications the impact has shown on the infrastructure components and somewhere also it shows now to overcome that problems we are having this redundant storage architecture now inside this one has we have discussed in the previous uh, topics also some of the components we have used that is resource uh, allocation we are going to using different different uh, set of features or components like we have used the memory pools or cpu pools or we have used some network pools here also in the redundant storage this components belongs to storage units only like we can use lun that is logical unit number the main purpose of this one is whatever the logical drive we are having it is going to be divided into number of partitions we represent a partition of a physical drive 1 2 3 4 like this we are going to have a different different partitions different partitions we can can create with the help of logical unit number and we can also use the help of storage service gateway now what is the purpose of this component is it is acting as a external interface to cloud storage services this ssg is acting as a external interface to cloud storage services and it is a capable of automatically redirecting the cloud consumer request whenever the location of the request data has changed requested data has changed now this gateway will help you when you are making the request cloud consumer request whenever the location of the requested data has changed requested data has changed in the sense sometimes you are go for example it's not that much of suitable but have to understand clearly the storage service gateway your atm you are going to have uh, your union bank atm for example you go for your union atm and you can draw it that is okay if you change the location again from that union bank to regular union bank to for your account where you are having if you are change the location to another union bank atm what will happen or if you are change the atm itself the union atm card can draw from sbi can draw in icic when cloud consumer request whenever the location of the request data has changed now for that purposes the storage service gateway can be useful in simply it will act as this ssg is acting as a external interface to cloud service cloud storage services and it is taken care by automatically redirect the requested if you change the location location you are going to requesting further and coming to the rsa exact uh, the redundant storage architecture is the purpose is it's maintain a secondary duplicate cloud storage device as part of the failure fail over systems now whenever any fail has come system has failed 
automatically from where you stop your task where you have stopped the things it automatically start from that so to do that one it is synchronizes its data with the data in the primary cloud storage device because even you are creating a duplicate copy as a secondary whenever any fail over has done over there it has to sync to the primary cloud storage so that we can access from where and at which point it will be stopped to the from the secondary duplicate cloud storage now to make sure that this ssg that is storage service gateway diverts cloud consumer request to the secondary device whenever the primary device fails so as i said if the location has changed like you have the primary cloud storage device has failed because of some technical issues now this ssg storage service gateway will divert the cloud consum uh, consumer request to secondary device now let me see how it will be done and the last point here before going to see the different figures now see the last point of this is primary relies on a storage replication system that keeps the primary cloud storage device synchronized with the duplicates secondary cloud storage devices the meaning of this is this third figure let me see the first two figures how it will be done see this is the primary storage device now the ssg that is service storage service gateway will make sure that so these are the partitions l u n that is logical units we are just now we have seen about the l u n right so logical unit number we are having the partition it is making the primary cloud device this is primary cloud storage uh, device is routinely replicated to the secondary storage device how means it is same same as it is it is going to be doing over here up to this this is a secondary now this is uh, entirely it is a secondary part now in the primary it is going to be dividing into the logical unit number logical drive has divided into the physical into partitions this is the different partitions these are called as luns okay that is a task is it to act as the ssg will be act as now see in the second figure how the ssg will play a role over here whenever what the ssg purpose is whenever the primary whenever the primary storage this is the primary storage whenever it is fails now automatically this ssg the primary storage becomes unavailable and storage services gateway forward storage service gateway will forward the cloud consumer request to the secondary storage this is how it is going to be forwarding in the in this figure there is no directions here from ssd to the secondary storage there is no direction but whenever the primary storage device has failed it the ssc will be transfer the requests it is forwarded the requests to the secondary storage device now the third step what they are going what will be do the secondary storage devices forwards the request to the luns now previously there is no connections here here there is no connections for the luns in the secondary storage device but there is a connections for the sr luns and allowing cloud consumers to continue to access their data so ssg will the main role whenever the primary cloud storage storage data device has failed it will be redirect to the secondary storage device so that the secondary storage device can divide forward the request to the luns logical units numbers and what we are saying the third bullet here is it relies architecture primary relies on secondary that is storage replication system that keeps primary cloud storage device synchronized with its duplicate secondary cloud storage device the meaning here is whenever any how it is going to be synchronized whenever any problem has appeared now the storage replication the storage replication will act as will act as here the storage replication is a variation of the resource replication mechanism used to synchronize or asynchronously replicate data from a primary storage to a secondary storage from primary to secondary it can be used to replicate partial and maybe the entire luns so this storage replication can be done like in the first step what we are doing in this figure is this is the first and second what we are doing is the primary storage has how it is to be divided into uh, making the request into luns in the same fashion in the secondary storage also make use of that one so to make some replication duplications of primary uh, storage device as secondary storage uh, device storage replication that is a one of the component will make sure 
of how it will be uh, making of replica further. Maybe that replica is a synchronous replica that is at with, the, with respect to the time or with respect to the non-timing that is uh, asynchronous also. Randomly also we can do it by the storage replication. So this storage replication is used to keep the redundant storage device synchronized with the primary storage device. That is the main objective of storage replication. So redundant storage architecture, the main objective is to has to introduce a secondary duplicate cloud storage device whenever the failure has done for the primary cloud storage. Now, how it will be doing is with the help of LUN, with the help of storage service gateway, it is going to be doing that. And coming to the mechanisms, what we can use, general mechanisms, they're not specific mechanisms are there in the redundant uh, storage architectures. The one is the cloud providers may locate secondary storage, uh, cloud storage devices in different geographical regions than the primary, maybe the primary uh, cloud storage devices may be in A, B, C locations. Uh, maybe in secondary, they can be have in DEF, different uh, geographical regions, usually for economic reasons. The second point you have to remember in this RSA is the location of the secondary cloud storage devices can dictate the protocol and method for used for synchronization. As some of the replication pro uh, transfer protocols have distant, maybe have some restriction. The third point you have to remember is the cloud providers use storage devices with dual array and storage controls to improve the device redundancy. So we already have studied some uh, SSID, uh, SS SSME, that is MIME, like different different uh, architectures array, dual architectures are there. Um, with the help of that, we can improve the device redundancy and places the secondary storage devices in different physical locations for crowd balancing and disaster recovery purposes. So this is about the uh, redundant storage architecture. So what we have seen in this redundant storage architecture is we have seen what is the problem, why we are giving the solution redundant storage architecture and how we are overcoming with the help of LUN and storage service gateway and how it will be done. We have seen the graphical representations one, two and in three and resource replications also has taken a uh, vital role while you are making replication for that. And very important points so where it is going to store the secondary cloud storage in different geographical uh, regions because can improve the economic. And also the methods and protocols should be have dictated before the synchronize because some of the transport protocols having some re distance restrictions over there. And also they are using the providers using the dual uh, array and storage controls because we can have a good redundant of devices. Okay. So that's about the uh, redundant storage architectures.